You want to get warmed up to sprint as fast as you can. In this video, I'm going to give you a drills unit that's going to do just that. This unit comprises of drills which you can do on the spot. Now, these need to be done with good technique and sharply. And you're going to be able to see lots of variations as well that work heel recovery, the drive phase, posture and arm action. We will do this unit once in a 10 day cycle block of training and we will hold positions for a couple of seconds if they're a held in sprint posture option after a cycle or we will perform them for 10 to 15 seconds if they are a cyclical motion. As well as low leg cycles, high leg cycles and combinations of, you'll also see scissor bounds for example. And also, as I've indicated, drills where you pause so you may cycle and then hold sprint posture. So you're working on your balance, your hip strength to be able to hold your hip in an isometric position and then continuously cycle. Surprisingly, these drills are very intense. So even after five, 10 seconds of actually doing them, you need say 30 seconds recovery before doing the next set. I'll look at the jumpers, sprinters and gauge when it's best for them to go again. What we don't want is poor technique. So always make sure you're fully recovered enough to put maximal effort into the drills. Each one will be performed four to five times in this particular unit. After completing those particular drills, we'll move on to, for example, some moving forwards drills. Now these could include hitting the leg up and down in a piston movement every third step, every one step and every other step or we'll do a rotational variant of that drill as well with similar combinations. These really will sharpen you up. And you've got to make sure again, as I said with the other drills, that you're doing them as crisply as possible. After those drills, it's then onto some build up runs and then some sprints. Most of the athletes, when they've gone through this particular sequence of drills, find that they can run particularly well and apply force. That's because they are potentiating your performance. They are elevating your neuromuscular system in order to apply greater power and speed. Let me know if you have any particular questions on the subject matter of this particular video. If so, then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. And please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll know when I upload new content. And please do give this video a thumbs up, a like. And as we enter the indoor season, good luck with your training and of course your competitions. And please do consider becoming a channel member. My latest video is on peaking and tapering and it specifically deals with how to make sure your athletes achieve peak performances across the entire training year from the indoors to the outdoors. We explore some very important concepts and I give you a number of ideas as to how to make sure you can get your athletes in peak condition. So head over to the channel's main page, click on the join button and look for the coach athlete level of membership and here you'll find how to go about becoming a channel member. And many thanks to those of you who have become coach athlete members and to those of you, for example, at the supporters level who do just that and who for $1.99 a month help me produce the content that's helping you to become a better athlete and or coach. Interested in the extremely portable and accurate through lap timing system, then do drop me a message the system is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and can time end times and split times.